Hi friends, welcome to the PYQ analysis. Guys, today I have selected a very important topic which is in news, which is Israel-Palestine issue. Today I am going to discuss all the important PYQs which have come on this topic in the last 30 years in the UPSC examination. And with that, I am going to help you integrate the preparation. And I am also going to give you some important topics which you need to prepare for the prelims 2024. Guys, I have been telling you the right time to solve the PYQs is now because now you are preparing, now you have time. So you can integrate those PYQs, we will get to know what are the dimensions which is focused by the UPSC. If you solve the PYQs at the year end, then you will not understand exactly what are the dimensions which you need to prepare and even if you understand, you will not have the time to prepare then. So guys, these videos are very useful in your UPSC prelims preparation. So guys, today the topic is very, very important. So let us begin. Guys, my name is Santosh Pandey. I have cracked the UPSC prelims examination all six times. I have cracked the mains examination four times. I have cracked my state PCS examination also. I was allotted deputy collector. And this is my telegram channel, Optimize IES. And this is my YouTube channel, IS with Santos. You can subscribe these two channels so that you will get all the free content which I give for the UPSC preparation. Guys, you can see some of my scorecards. I have scored one of the highest marks in the prelims examination and I make these videos to make your prelims journey very easy. So guys, what I have done is that I have analyzed the last 30 years question on the topic Israel-Palestine issue and I am able to Okay, categorize these PYQs into four sections so that it will make your preparation very streamlined. Okay, so when we analyze all the questions coming on this topic, we can categorize them few questions on the map base because UPSC has focused many questions on this topic by asking map based questions. There are some questions which are based on international treaty. Then there are few questions which are based on defense and there were one or two questions which are based on diplomatic relations also. So when you prepare today the Israel-Palestine issue for the prelims 2024, you need to prepare in these four dimensions the topic. You need to prepare the map-based dimension. You need to prepare the international treaty-based dimension. You need to prepare the defense-based dimension. And you need to prepare by okay the diplomatic-based dimension. And don't worry, in the end of this video, I'll be giving you all these dimensions, the topics which you need to prepare for the prelims 2024. So guys, let us begin. So guys, as I told you, the first and the most important dimension on the topic is the map based. So you can see here, UPSC has asked three to four questions in the last 30 years on the topic. You can see here, first important topic is the Mediterranean Sea. Okay, which of the following countries does not open out in the Mediterranean Sea. Guys, let me see how many of you can answer this question. So the answer is Jordan. So the answer is Jordan. So answer is not important. Answer you can get anywhere in the internet. So basically what is important is that you need to prepare the Mediterranean Please do a map analysis of Mediterranean Sea. They can ask you the same question in different format. They can give you the number of countries and they will say that how many of the above countries are sharing border with Mediterranean Sea or how many of the above countries are not opening into Mediterranean Sea. So you can give a lot of questions. Okay. So please prepare the Mediterranean Sea. Okay. Next you can see Israel has common border with. Okay. So you have to prepare Israel border. You have to prepare Israel border. They can give you uh, in a different format. They can give you the names of the countries and they will ask you how many of the above are sharing border with Israel. Okay. Next, you can see the questions have asked on cities. They have asked questions on cities and they have given the names of the country. You can see the name is Palestine. Okay. So the point is that you have to prepare all the map points of Palestine. You have to prepare all the map points of Palestine. Okay. Entire, all the important locations, all the important cities you need to prepare for Palestine. Very, very important. And even in Israel. Okay. Important towns of Israel. Important towns of Israel. Israel and important towns of Palestine. So both these you need to prepare. You need to prepare Gaza, West Bank, etc, etc, even towns of Israel. Some of the bordering towns of Israel were in news this year because of the attack. Okay, so this is very, very important. Okay, so the first theme was Mediterranean Sea in the map. The second theme was the bordering countries and the third theme bordering countries of Israel and bordering countries of Palestine also. Bordering countries of Palestine also you need to prepare. 
the third thing in this is what the important places important towns important cities in israel and palestine here you can prepare the names of the hospitals also which were in use okay you can prepare that let's go on you can see there are some other map based questions also which have come for example two state solutions mentioned in the context of what so israel you see yom kippur war between which countries so guys yom kippur war is israel and arab countries egypt and syria so like this lot of questions have come even last year you can see 2023 also there was a question on okay you can see there was one question on israel you can see israel and lebanon israel and lebanon so please prepare israel and lebanon map please prepare this israel and lebanon map very very so these were few questions which have come map based on the topic so we can easily find out what kind of questions which can come from the map based on this topic they can ask you mediterranean sea they can ask you the bordering countries they can ask you the important cities and locations they can ask you the borders they can ask you the various okay terms which are in use for example the two state solution or the yom kippur war the six day war okay they can ask you this next move on guys next we can see questions have come based on international treaty you can see here signatories of chemical weapons signatories of chemical weapon convention which of the countries are signatory of chemical weapon convention so whatever treaty israel is part of israel is part of you need to prepare you see a question which has come in 2015 you can see okay which of the following are nuclear weapon state and by the npt okay npt okay so you should know the status of israel you should know the status of israel in npt you should know this you should know this okay so very 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 important and this year guys let me tell you npt and ctpt both are very very important both are important they were in use so this topic is also very important this issue is also very important so you need to prepare the status of israel as far as nuclear weapons are concerned let's move on guys you can see another type of dimension which has been asked in the upsc prelims examinations diplomatic relationship guys you see this year itself this year itself there was a question on israel and arab state diplomatic relationship this year this is this year what you have to prepare major diplomatic relationship israel has with the arab countries and also israel's diplomatic relationship with india because you are preparing the examination for india okay so civil services for india so they will they might ask what kind of relationship india has with palestine and what kind of relationship india has with israel okay then was the diplomatic relationship established okay they can ask you this and they can also ask you be between the israel and diplomatic relationship with arab states so they have asked last year they might not repeat it but this is very very important next you see questions can be on defense based questions you can see here barak in anti missile Okay, barak anti missile. Then you can see here the questions have asked on the services or agencies of the country. You can see here, okay, secret, okay, secret agencies and the matching countries. Secret agencies and matching country, or they can give you armed forces, etc., etc., matching countries, or they can give you the extremist group matching. You can see here Hamas. You can see here Hamas. They can give you Hezbollah. Okay, they can give you Hezbollah also. Okay, the point is that there are three types of questions we can expect in the defense base. defense based uh, theme they can ask you about any defense equipment for example missiles anti missiles okay defense uh, or they can ask you about drones these days drones are very important and israel was for drones they can ask you defense based question or they can ask okay military agencies based question and match the following they can give you or they can give you uh, okay extremist organization extremist organization match the Uh, following okay hezbollah or hamas hamas already has been asked in 1995 so guys see these are the four these are the four types of questions which have come on the topic okay map based question then you can see international treaty based question then you can see diplomatic based question then you can see defense based question so what i have done is that i have done the topical analysis of the topic from the current affairs perspective and i have given the topic which can come under these themes on the topic for prelims 2024 this is not a comprehensive list in our optima series we will be 
giving you the notes of each and every topic here which are whatever we are mentioning here and the questions also on that so it is just an indication to do help you understand how you should prepare so what can be a map based question for 2024 they can ask you question on gaza they can ask you question on west bank or sinai peninsula or the golan heights or the jerusalem or alaksa mosque or the mediterranean sea or the bordering countries or the border con border crossings so the uh, this palestine and the border crossing of egypt was in news or they can ask you about refugee camps or they can ask you about the names of the hospitals or they can ask you question on the red sea recently there was an attack in red sea of an israel based ship or they can ask you about the babel mandeb which is the international choke point as far as international treaty is concerned they can ask you question on geneva convention international crime or the war crimes as far as defense based questions are there they can ask you question on six day war yom kippur war iron dome then drones various kinds of drones were in news this year okay harman drones etc etc different drones are there then groups hazmas and hijbullah and last but not the least they can ask you about diplomatic relationship camp david accord oslo accord abraham accord and other things also they can ask you about united nation and palestine what is the status of palestine in united nation is it a recognized state it is not a recognized state what is the status okay they can ask you on that and which countries recognize palestine etc etc which international organization palestine is a member of that they can ask you n number of questions i'm just giving you an indication how you have to prepare guys let me tell you once you learn the art of integrating the pyq art of analysis of the pyqs and then you are able to relate to the current affairs and you can do the backward and forward linkage guys no one can stop you from qualifying the prelims examination guys i am doing all this topic analysis in my lakshya series and i am framing questions doing this analysis on each and every topic which is important for this years so guys you can uh, join this lakshya series and you can make use of this questions guys practice is a must you need to practice questions in a new format guys most of the students they are waiting for the syllabus to be completed for doing practice this is not the right strategy guys you have to do practice along with the preparation okay so practice should not wait for preparation it should go okay hand in hand okay so guys if you if you like this analysis and if you want me to continue this analysis the target is 250 likes for this video and please do share this video with all your friends who are preparing for the prelims okay so target is 250 likes okay i would like to see how many of you are liking this video and please do share your comment guys it takes a lot of effort to do this kind of analysis nowhere in india you can see this kind of pyq analysis if you find this pyq analysis unique please do contact me thank you my contact will be given in the description thank you friends bye bye take